All right, I am calling the meeting back to order. It is now 10.40. Yesterday, we referred two matters to committee. Um, we are gonna take the report of the nitpicking and fly specking committee that was an open meeting first. Um, actually, we do need Mr. Eastlake since he's yeah. giving the report. <laughs> you didn't realize he was missing. Um, all right, Mr. Illingworth, would you like to give the report of the committee since you're... Since I actually wrote it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a quick meeting after the uh, business meeting yesterday and looked at the questions and felt that the most reasonable uh, solutions were either to pass a greater amendment, thus making it an item newly uh, passed at this convention, or to add the pair of sunset sunrise clauses. And I have uh, specified what form they should have, if anybody was to wish to do one this year. Are there any questions for the committee? I think I'd like to have a resolution of the sense of the business meeting that sun, sunrise, sunset is the preferred way to go about delaying ratification. Is there any objection to that resolution? Mr. Yallo. I believe that while this mechanism could clearly work, I believe that it is premature to make any such ruling until such time as it is actually tried. Mm -hmm. Got it, <laughs> okay. Verizon Wireless. All right. I guess I, the head to, premature to, vote to on it? yeah. I think Mr. Yallo would just like us not to have a resolution. Um, do we need to vote on it? Yeah, to adopt it. We can the still call meeting does not yeah. have to listen to Ben. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. All right. To to so, all the is there any other uh, objections or debate on the resolution? <coughs> yes, Mr. Yeah. Blog. Just out of curiosity, you know, I've always heard sun we've always done sunset clauses in the past, so I know it exists. Is sun is sunrise clauses that does that actually exist? Or are we actually making this up for the first time? I believe, and I could be wrong. This was used when the zones went away, but no, nope, I'm wrong. No, we just put that straight in. There was there were conditionality about who, which bidders could still bid because they'd been in the zones. So having uh, delay provisions and exceptions is perfectly normal, but I think this is the first time I've actually done a sunrise clause. Mr. Kowalczyk. Um, point of parliamentary inquiry, has there been a motion and has there been a second? No, there was not. That's correct, sorry. With Oh, that will do it. <laughs> Mr. Stanley, for what purpose does the... I'm just, I'm, do, I'm doing error right Oh, Ms. Dr. Adams, for what purpose does the member rise? The, I believe the motion was made... What do you... To do what? To... There was a motion to have a resolution that it is the sense of the business meeting that sunrise, sunset is the proper way to go about delaying ratification. I believe it was seconded. Yep. I heard that. All right. Since there wasn't a, we're now going to, um, if there's no one else wishing to speak, we're going to vote up oh, Mr. Bloom. Mr. Chairman, I would like to point out that resolutions are not binding on future business meetings or future business meeting chairs. They are merely advice. So you, people should take that into account while they're voting. Mr. Kowalczyk. Wait a minute, let me catch up. Yep. 
My apologies, I was not here yesterday because of stuff. Um, is this in regards to a specific, uh, this is I guess a point of inquiry uh, addressed at the chair. Is this in regard to a specific motion or is this a general thing going forward? This is a general thing going forward, but as Mr. Bloom points out, it's not binding. So if there is a specific piece of business that comes up, whatever that mover wants to do, as long as it's within Robert's rules, they can do. Are there, is there any other points of questions or debate? All right, then I'm gonna put the question to the floor. All those in favor of the resolution to Yes, I'm getting there. That sunrise, sunset is the preferred way of going about of delaying ratification of a constitutional amendment pending ratification. Please raise your hands. All right, all those opposed? The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. The resolution is adopted. We're now going to take up the other Quick point of order from the sergeant at arms. If everybody could please silence cell phones and other devices that make noise. Thank you. And further, further point of order from the sergeant at arms. Would you remind the members to please introduce themselves when they speak? Yes, just because I know who you are doesn't mean everybody else does. So I may call on you by name, but please don't take that as a, you don't have to introduce yourselves. Uh, we're now going to take the report of the other committee to which we referred a matter yesterday, the Committee on Nominee Diversity. There is uh, eight minutes, I believe, eight minutes, yes, yes. of debate, um, and this report will come out of that debate. Uh, Andrew Adams, I was the uh, chair since I was the one who raised it. You point out the uh, problem, you attempt to fix the problem. Um, the intent. The number? Andrew, yeah. It's Thank you. Yeah. The, uh, the point I raised was that the uh, motion as passed last year did not appear to meet the intent of the makers of the motion, which was that should a finalist, uh, should there be multiple finalists from the same creator, that it will be the creator who has first opportunity to decide which of those works should appear on the final ballot. Um, they could, of course, leave that up to the um, will of the voters by saying, um, just take what the one with the highest number of uh, nominations. But uh, we, we discussed this, and the intent of the committee was to propose amendments to the uh, motion which would not constitute a greater change, which would therefore allow ratification this year, but would better reflect the, uh, intent, the, the intent of the makers of the original motion. Um, I, uh, my apologies, when I pasted this into the slide, uh, the markup went away, so I'm restoring the cross out and underlining. Hold on a sec. Okay, hey, we'll take, a, take, a, take a moment to allow the, uh, the parliamentarian to present the, uh, um, the, the results of the, the committee. The committee was unanimous that this uh, achieved the uh, purpose which the committee was set up, uh, and that the, uh, the committee believed that this, that this constitutes a, a lesser change, although of course it is the uh, the chair's ruling that, that will decide whether that is the case. Yeah, and the file I was given it in doesn't have the markup either, so I need to go back to an earlier version. Um, Talking to the microphone. I said the file I was given was, did not have the markup, so I have to go back to an even earlier version. Uh, be eligible to yeah, but it doesn't have. Yes, you do okay. have printout copies of it. Uh, you do? Yeah. No, it's it's on the back of the other one. <laughs> Upside down. <laughs> Just tilt your head like this. <laughs> Rick, Rick, can I get a copy, please? Yes, the the printed version does have the correct markup. Sure. Could you, sure, could you distribute those? Okay. I have one, I have one. And at this point, the slide has the markup also, so. Do I, do I need to read the motion? Would that help? Yeah. So, so it's moved to amend the uh, 